Thank you, John Paul. Meanwhile, could another wave of COVID cases be on the horizon? It has become a major concern right here in Texas as a rise in case numbers of the highly contagious Delta variant continues to stoke fears. And as the Delta variant became the dominant strain of coronavirus in the U.S., Texas has seen a sharp spike in positivity and hospitalizations with Bear County making up its fair share. I am worried about what is to come because we are seeing increasing cases among the unvaccinated in particular. The numbers prove it. As the nation sees a rise in COVID cases, it's the areas with the highest rate of unvaccinated that have been hit the hardest. It's why health officials across Texas are upping their push for people to get vaccinated. As of the weekend, Texas positivity rate has climbed above 10 percent. It's the level Governor Greg Abbott and the Trump administration both identified as a red flag earlier in the pandemic. Saturday, the seven-day average for new confirmed cases in the state was just over 2,000. That's nearly triple the average since the first day of the month, which was 757. The number of those hospitalized across Texas growing as well. At the beginning of the month, there were a little more than 1,500. As of Friday, that number surpassed 2,800. The highest number of those hospitalized due to COVID at any time was back on January 11th, which saw more than 14,200. Here in Bear County, the numbers reflect what we've seen statewide. In just the past week, the positivity rate doubled from 5.8% to 11.2%. Last month, the average number of people hospitalized for the virus here at home was 123. At last check, it's above 250. While many cases are still being investigated, health officials nationwide are urging those who are unvaccinated to get the shot as the Delta variant has indeed raised the stakes. It is our fastest, most effective way out of this pandemic. As of right now, more than 1 million residents in Bear County are fully vaccinated. That's about 62% of the population. For more information on the vaccines, as well as where to find your nearest vaccination clinic, head to ksat.com. Turning now to other top stories we are following.